Well, I want to talk about fear in general. Fear, fear is normal. Fear is going to be different from person to person. As we went around the room, we've heard all the different fears that are in the room, because fear is not going to be the same. You can have one person that fears something that's dangerous as skydiving, then you can have another person who fears something as simple as walking into a Starbucks, ordering a cup of coffee, the fear of public speaking, the fear of talking to a stranger. So fear is going to be different from person to person, but we must learn to conquer our fears and not let the fear conquer us. Fear is, fear is good. Fear can give you an adrenaline rush to help prepare you for a threat. Fear can put the experience in your memory banks as to help you to avoid the threat in the future. So fear can protect you. Fear is good. Fear can prolong your life. You walk up to the edge of a cliff, you feel fearful. The body's fight or flight response is kicking in to let you know that walking at the edge of a cliff is a fearful event that may possibly take your life. Your heartbeat may start to increase. Your breathing may start to increase. You may start to feel panic and anxiety. This is all normal. You may even start to feel a need to escape. The flight response. But we must learn to conquer our fears and not let the fear conquer us. We must learn to conquer our fears and not let the fear conquer us. One way to conquer fear is to acknowledge the fear. You make a self-affirmation to yourself that you have the fear. I'm afraid of swimming. I'm afraid of skydiving. I'm afraid of snakes. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of my dad. Before we can conquer that fear, we must first make the acknowledgement that we do have, that the fear is there. And then we can proceed to conquer that fear. One good way to conquer fear is to make yourself a courageous person, to step outside of your comfort zone, to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Make yourself a more fearless person. Break your pattern of doing the same thing all the time. Take a different way to school one day. When you go to lunch, you go to the same place all the time, order something different on the menu. Just do something daily to help break your pattern. Cook something different for dinner. Read a different kind of book. You read fiction all the time, read nonfiction. Listen to different kind of music. Opera, jazz. Listen to that stuff you normally don't do. Make yourself a more spontaneous, creative person. Get outside your comfort zone. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. It'll make you a more fearless person so you can take on all your fears in life. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's okay to try something new. Do, as a matter of fact, get in the habit of trying something new. This will help you with all your fears in life. And that's what I try to do. I, keep, I try to take on my fears of just doing things outside of my normal comfort zone, coming to speak. I still have a fear of public speaking, even though I sound like I'm a confident speaker. I still get nervous. Having to make yourself vulnerable in front of other people, people you don't know, that's a fear, the fear of public speaking. But we must learn to conquer our fears and not let the fear conquer us. Now, I got a buddy back here who's an expert on speaking about fear. I'm going to have him come up here and speak for 10 minutes. He's given many, many presentations. Chris, come on up here and talk about fear.